Right now this midday, a 14 year old is facing charges at a shooting at South Cobb High School. The shooting happened Saturday night around 9 p.m. during an eighth grade football game. Cobb County police say they arrested a 14 year old boy. He's now facing numerous charges, including aggravated assault, criminal trespass and violation of probation. Police tell us one person was hurt in the shooting and the victim is expected to survive. So as investigators look into what happened today, 11 Alive's Erica Murphy is speaking with the school district and neighbors about what should be done to keep this from happening again. We had a scare like that, I'd say a few weeks ago at a different football game. So it was just shocking to see it so close with the other high school shooting already. Austell resident and South Cobb High School alum Kiana found out about the shooting at South Cobb High School when she read several Facebook posts about it. The Georgia Middle School Athletic Association set the match between Walton Blue and South Cobb eighth graders. Cobb School's board member Leroy Trey Hutchins says his phone has been ringing nonstop since the shooting. I do believe there are some layered supports that are necessary to ensure that we can um, have fun and enjoy our children our children enjoy uh, in a safe environment. Hutchins has been pushing to get more security at Cobb schools since last summer. He thinks bringing in more employees is one of the answers to curbing violence. School safety officers. These are not school resource officers. These are uh, personnel who may not carry a gun. They may not be post certified, but they can be a first line of defense. They can be a uh, first responder in the event of an emergency. Hutchins says he's not clear if the district is responsible for providing security during community events held on school property, but resident Kiana says something needs to be done to protect kids. Safety is really number one and for the kids to go home and go to school and come back home. That's the key here to get them to go back home. Reporting from Austell, Erica Murphy, 11 Alive News.